Hi everyone, this is Ashraf Salem, uh, uh, Principal System Engineer um, at Fortinet. Uh, today we will talk about um, uh, Fortinet Security Fabric and how it um, solves the um, cyber security challenges inside the operational technology infrastructure. Uh, first of all, let's highlight um, what actually the uh, operational technology. Uh, in each industrial control system, uh, we can find um, an operational uh, technology inside um, these uh, industrial control system, which um, uh, the main um, the main function of this uh, operational technology. Uh, is responsible for uh, managing and operating uh, the hardware uh, inside this uh, uh, in the serial control system. Um, all the uh, industries, um, it has already an operational technology inside, and all this industry adds mission critical infrastructure. Um, we can see. Um, increased uh, threat trends okay inside this operational technology infrastructure and um, it can um, varies okay between all the cybersecurity vectors either it's malware or de denial of service or different okay type of attacks um, Again, these OT threats, it's um, causing a tangible business impact. If it succeed to uh, impact the operation, okay, guiding the uh, operational outage, or uh, for sure this will guide also um, a revenue uh, loss uh, due to the operational outage. Um, also, it can impact the organization reputation that uh, impacted by the cybersecurity. This uh, make a huge push to um, make the operational technology, it's part of the responsibility of the chief information security officer inside this uh, organization, not, not only responsible for the IT uh, part inside the, this industrial organization, but also for the OT part to make the regulation and compliance for the uh, security uh, part. One of the um, pressures that push um, that already um, make the OT um, uh, infrastructure more exposable uh, for the uh, cyber uh, security attacks, um, what we call the IT slash OT convergence. This convergence will take in place due to um, different uh, um, uh, pillars. One of them uh, that I don't need to invest more in my resources. I need uh, one single team to manage uh, either uh, OT slash IT, okay, infrastructure, as well as also I need uh, um, to have a, a regulation inside the OT infrastructure due to this uh, criticality of this this uh, part inside my uh, environment, okay. Um, as well as I don't have to have two separate infrastructure, I need uh, one single infrastructure for OT slash IIT. Um, one of the uh, um, also pillars for this convergence is uh, the hype in the big data and machine learning and uh, how actually we use it in the IT domain. And we need to make use actually from this uh, hype actually inside our industrial uh, organization okay this will guide um, our OT systems to to consume the the um, huge compute power which already reside in the IT uh, private IT data center the internet and uh, this will uh, for sure either in the on the or make uh, the the internet or the IT. Okay, so for this example, um, we have an OT infrastructure. It's purely uh, um, air gapped in uh, previous uh, uh, in, in previous uh, dates, 
And this actually will be combined inside and connected with uh, our IT infrastructure, making this convergence taking place. Uh, one of the key uh, features that we, we already um, um, uh, have as a Fortinet that all of uh, our firewall has um, a built-in uh, module that uh, support all the type of protocols that can uh, be used in the OT domain, as well as we, we have a um, signature-based uh, uh, application that can identify the applications uh, developed by OT vendors. And also, uh, it has inside the vulnerabilities uh, that can uh, already identified in these applications. Already, um, uh, it can block all these vulnerabilities uh, on the uh, on our firewalls, uh, not making uh, the customer uh, uh, upgrading or batching uh, their backend uh, systems. Okay, making an operation uh outage okay or even uh, uh blocking these attacks if there is any uh, cyber attacks towards these applications uh, again we, we we have uh our hardened devices that can exist in this uh infrastructure uh, if it's uh rugged uh firewalls or switches or even access point um inside this domain Again, we have our specialized team that uh, already updates uh, the uh, database, okay, uh, on a regular basis, and it's um, already uh, um, if there is any new vulnerability uh, in any OT uh, application, it can be updated, and uh, you can again update uh, the firewall in this domain, and it will be blocked uh, on our firewalls. If we are talking on the all verticals, okay, starting from the IT uh, threats or uh, OT, uh, we have this uh, full uh, product portfolio uh, starting from uh, network security. We have our firewalls. We have also, uh, if there is any back-end uh, industrial IoT uh, that consume uh, uh, your public cloud, you can secure your public cloud and the communication between your um uh iot or ot backend and the uh in the in the public cloud um, also we have our endpoint security that can be installed on all the uh, uh environments uh, in point uh, in different uh, having different operating system uh we have email security to protect uh, from email security um, cyber attack uh, the same for web application firewall. Uh, we have our uh, network uh, access layer actually from switches uh, or uh, Wi-Fi access point. Uh, and we have our network admission control that can profile and authenticate the, uh, and authorize the, the network access. Uh, we having our advanced threat protection Um, as a sandbox, and we have also an OT module on top of, uh, of it to have the uh, if there is any uh, threats already in inside your uh, OT infrastructure. And on top of that, we have our uh, management uh, system. Again, we have the end-to-end uh, -end integration between all these devices. Okay, making the if there is any identified threats, it can be blocked immediately. Okay, uh, we are not working as um, uh, silos, sec uh, security as a silos, but actually we can integrate uh, and share the threat intelligence between the, our devices. Okay, making uh, better uh, uh, mitigation for the attack once it's uh, seen in your infrastructure. Uh, also, we are building our security fabric to not be um, um, uh, um, uh, vendor lock, but actually we, we have an integration with uh, third, uh, third party uh, partners and we still um uh, open for any uh, further integration in future thanks for watching have a great day